Hey guys, I hope that intro got you kind of pumped, I liked putting it together, and uh, I'm going to start this, uh, it's going to be a multi-part project where I'm going to build an arcade cabinet out of a Raspberry Pi, uh, that was just a sample of a couple of the games I got running on it, right now I'm up to I think 46, maybe 45, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so... What you're going to want to do is start with a fresh install of Debian for your Raspberry Pi. I mean completely fresh. Uh, if you want, go ahead and enable you know, SSH. And I like to have VNC running just because it helps out with a lot of stuff. But do a quick Google search for MAME for all. Put up here, M-A-M-E, the number four, and then all, A-L-L. -L. The first thing you'll see is MAME for all Pi. And uh, you're going to want to use this one right here right nice and easy so if we get our VNC terminal up I just like using VNC because it gives you guys something to look at uh, using putty and all that so if we take this copy and link address and that actually won't work in here so we'll have to hmm. anyway so we use wget http name for all hyphen pi dot google code dot com see what the rest of that is slash git slash name for all underscore pi dot zip Alright, you guys see that? You just do wget, hit enter, hit enter, and it'll download it for you. Now, I've already got it installed on here, so this won't do us much good, but you go to your file manager, and it should download it right to the your home slash pi directory. And you can go ahead and extract it using Xarchiver or whatever. This is your extract files, so you want to use that. Like I said, I've already got it up. Um, now I have mine right now for testing purposes, working off of an Xbox 360 controller. I had another USB controller, but I couldn't get it easily working. This was a lot easier to get working. And the way I got that working was under your terminal, you just go sudo apt hyphen get install and then xboxdrv uh, someone already wrote this I wish I could give credit where it was due but a quick google search will let us know and uh, since I already have it it's not going to do anything for us see X drive, xbox drive is already to the newest version but that will install it for you and then in order to get everything running for me off the boot, you go sudo nano slash etc slash rc dot local. Right? When you open this up, if we go down here, this is a, a commented outline that just lets me know this is where I do it. Load the Xbox controller drivers and start main. Now I have the, so this line right here is sudo remove mod xpad. That's what a lot of um, Linux versions use for USB controllers and joysticks. It's XPad. Well, I don't want that to conflict with the Xbox drivers I'm using for testing purposes. So I do sudo remove mod XPad. If it's there, it turns it off. Then I do sudo Xbox driver. And you can do the dead zone if you want. You don't have to. But the dead zone these are actually really sensitive. You wouldn't know that the thumbsticks are sensitive from playing Xbox games, 
but any of the slightest movement produces an output. So a lot of these old games, they're not designed for this. So that dead zone of 4,000 gives me a nice, about 40% of any direction from center doesn't produce an output. So that's actually real nice. It means that my thumb being on it doesn't make my character on screen go crazy. Um, so that's the dead zone. The hyphen hyphen silent means it won't output any kind of... Uh, the, the driver by default, if you just load it up through the command line, will actually show you what's being outputted by the controller. Silent prevents that. And then this green ampersand here tells Linux to run it in the background, which is what you want. And then this just uh, tells, this is just running the main program, main for all, as uh, I want it to have sudo, just to make sure that it'll work, it won't run into conflicts or problems. And uh, that's just the directory that I installed it to. It'll be your most likely directory, and main is the actual program. So that's how I get it to come up on boot. Um, once this is done, I'll show you a quick video of how I got that done. So, oh. uh, let's not exit out. Let's make sure I didn't change anything bad in there. Okay, good. So I've still got that part hyphen uh, commented out because right now, since I'm doing debugging and all that, now the next part is actually getting it to auto log in, which there's a real nice set of instructions at elinux.org slash rpi underscore debian auto login I'll make that real big in this part of the video for y'all because it might be hard to see um, so let's just go ahead and actually run that real quick so it's sudo nano slash etc slash inittab I'm running this code right here Alright, right here, let's just actually move this over so I can see both of them while we're going. Alright, now it says to scroll down to one colon two three four five colon respawn, which I believe is this one right here, yep. And uh, you just want to go ahead and comment it out, which is this little I guess the kids are calling it hash signs now. Back in my day, they were pound signs. So you want to do that. And then underneath it, you type this one. 1 colon 2345 respawn slash bin slash login f pi blah blah blah. Um, if you wanted to log into a different user, you would put it right there. That's your user. Um, and that's how you get it to automatically log in when the Raspberry Pi boots up. So there's the two simple things. We didn't change anything, so we're not going to worry about that. So that's all that. Let me show you what I got so far. <sighs> hey guys, it's me again. So I wanted to show you real quick what I'm working on. It's um, trying to make a small arcade cabinet powered by a Raspberry Pi. Should be a lot of fun and I just want to show you real quick what I got working. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my Raspberry Pi, I've got HDMI, power, SD card loaded with uh, just default Raspbian, and then I've made some changes to it to make it do what I want. I tried using uh, Pi Mame and I think it was Retro Pi, two distributions made specifically for this kind of thing, but they didn't quite do what I wanted. So, And then uh, this just goes down to this hub here which we won't be needing this. But the hub is powering the Pi and it has this Xbox 360 controller plugged in which I've been using for uh, just testing and actually playing with it. I'm still waiting on my uh, joysticks and buttons to come in so I'm pretty much at a standstill at this point. But let's go ahead and plug it in real quick and uh, we're going to see what we got. I just wanted to show you guys the boot up sequence to show that it goes straight into the emulator. All 
All right, so you all saw that. Went straight in. And here, you can see all this. Let me adjust this. The camera is cutting off. There we go. Oops. Huh. This little... Oh, God. Ah, there we go. That's better. Let it focus. And uh, I got 42 games on here right now. And uh, just so you can see it, here's the 360 controller. Push up, push down, and uh, let's do a quick game of Pac-Man Hack to be Heart. And you can see it uh, testing the screen just like the old arcade machine would. And I've got buttons set up for insert coin. So you can see the credits going up down there. Then you can hit start. Now I do play Pac-Man a lot better when I'm not recording. It's kind of how things work out, huh? It's not a bad score, unfortunately it cost me a life, but for the first level getting 7,000 is pretty good for me. Anyway, let's show another game. So you can go back to the menu, and uh, man, anyone remember this game? This game's amazing. It takes a little bit to start up though. And it goes through and it pretends to check the RAM and all that. The RAMs and the ROMs and the EEPROMs for the arcade cabinet because MAME or multiple arcade machine emulator actually goes through and tests it, it convinces the game that it's playing on original hardware let me turn this off so you can hear it Dazzler. Now we're just going to skip this intro. Alright. That's enough of that game. But we got a lot on here. Here's Pac Man, Qbert. Cuba luckily starts up real quick. There's not much waiting. Snake got me. I don't know if you can even see that. Anyway, I'll show some gameplay videos using the actual video capture device. Uh, my video capture device doesn't catch the startup sequence, so I didn't do that. Anyway. Catch you in a bit. Okay, guys. So uh, there's all that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it around four parts. The next part will be... Uh, I'll start recording the next part whenever my parts come in. I've ordered uh, joysticks and some uh, development stuff because this is my first project like this. I don't have a breadboard or leads or alligator clips or any of that. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're as excited to see this as at least, hopefully, half as much as I am to do it. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and the end product, I hope, is something I can really be proud of. Anyway, over and out. Watch this.